Hi, I'm Bren Antrim with the library here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to be doing a specific topic database search, Science in Context. In order to get to this database, you have to get to the library. And to get there from the college homepage, you mouse over Student Support and click on Library, or click on Student Support and scroll all the way down to More Helpful Services and Resources, where we're listed alphabetically. Once you get to the library homepage, there's a variety of places you can start your search, including OneSearch, which searches everything that we subscribe to or own, but this can be a little bit overwhelming. So say you know you, you want to search a science topic, so you can actually just go into databases and find that specifically. Before we do that, I want to point out a few things on this library homepage. Research guides can be very helpful when you're beginning your research in a variety of different areas. You can book a study room for yourself or for your group. You can find past workshops and videos. We have live workshops in fall and spring, and we archive all of our videos on our YouTube channel. And you can ask a librarian a reference question 24-7. If we are open, you'll be talking to an SMC librarian. If we are not, if campus is closed, then you'll talk to a librarian from one of our partner colleges or universities. If they can't answer your question, they will leave what's called a ticket. And then when we come back to work, we will email you to make sure that you got the answer you need. Further down, we have our upcoming events, resources, including links to Ask a Librarian and to our YouTube channel, and information about our hours and how to contact us. And finally, our links for our social media. So if I'm heading into databases to start my search, I can do a number of things again here. So here's a quick explanation. If you are looking for a specific format, for example, I need newspapers, you can look for that. If you're looking for a specific topic, which we're going to do, you can look for that. Now, one thing I want to mention, search for databases does not mean search in databases. So for example, if I am looking for wearable technology, I am not going to find that in the description of a database, which is what this search is. But I will find technology if I search for databases that include that in their description. So don't use this to search for your topic. Instead, find your database first and then search within your database. Okay. The best bets are those databases that students looking for science topics have used the most. This doesn't necessarily mean it's the best fit bet for your topic, so you can always go down and take a look at the individual databases, read through their explanation, and see if it would fit your topic. In this case, we are looking very generally so the science Galen context is what we're going to take a look at for this one. This allows you to do a number of things. You can browse topics if you're unsure what topic you want to write on. It gives you a variety of various things that you can take a look at. You can look at specific publications. You can look at their highlighted topics. Or you can look at broader topics like biology, health, STEM, Earth, environmental sciences, for example. So as I scroll through here, I say, OK, I'm really interested in STEM, math, engineering, and technology. And I take a look at some of the topics that it offers. And there are a lot. So I might be interested in robotics. I might be interested in artificial intelligence. I might be interested in information theory, because one of my masters is in information science. So that may be very interesting to me. But today, I'm going to take a look at wearable technology. So when I go into an, um, a particular topic, the first thing that gives me is an overview about the topic that dives into it in a little bit of detail. It gives me some key terms. It gives me the background. It gives me some applications in this specific case. It gives me some further resources that I can take a look at. If I want to use this, I can get a citation for it. I can save it to the cloud. It gives me related articles that I can take a look at. And over here on the right hand side, it allows you to explore the topic a little bit more in depth by going to specific articles. So if I like this, I can absolutely send it to myself, download it, print it, etc. I'm going to go back and take a look at wearable technology beyond the overview. And on this page, it gives me what's called feature content, which could be anything from a pro-con argument to a specific article. 
It gives me scholarly journal articles, popular news articles, reference, which are things like dictionaries, encyclopedia entries, popular magazines, some images, some websites I can look at, some podcasts and other audio files, and related topics to it. Then I can pick one of these, say I'm really interested in academic journals because I need to get those. And once I'm in my format, so news, magazine, podcast, journals, once I'm within that content type, then I can get a little more specific because 150 is a little bit too many. So the first thing I can do is I can tell it I want it to be within the last few years. So I'm going to say from um, 2021, to 2024. I'm going to apply that filter. That cuts it by two-thirds. Then I can say, what kind of document is it? Is it a report, an article? They have a correction notice listed because it was published in a scholarly journal. So say I want an actual articles. I can apply that and in three steps I've gone from about 700 to 13. So be very careful how you apply these limiters because they can really cut down your content and you could accidentally cut out stuff that you actually want to use. Another way to look at it is to look at, take a look at the subjects. These subjects tell you what subject headings are assigned to this particular group of content articles. So maybe what I'm really interested in is wearable computers. That cuts it down even further but it's very specific to what I'm actually looking for. Okay, so say I find one that is applying to a medical device. I can click on that and once in it, just like with the overview, I can read through it. I can cite it. I have related articles. I have exploration of the topic and related subject headings. So if I click on any of these, it will research the entire database, find any articles that have these subject headings attached to them and bring them back for me. And then I can save it to the cloud, email it to myself, download it, etc. Once I'm done with this, I can either go back to the previous search. I can go back to the more general topic, wearable technology. That takes me back to the broad overview and all of the related content about it. Or I can go back to my original topic and take a look at all of the topics within math engineering and technology. This has been a brief overview of this database. If you have questions while you are using it, please do ask a librarian at any time and good luck with your research.